currently stalking Mr. Obama. So it's January 17th. We are in Delaware. We made it in last night from New York around 12. Um, got up early this morning and we are headed to Wilmington to check out the first stop of Obama's train tour down to DC. <laughs> We've heard your stories on the campaign trail. We have been touched by your dreams. And we will fight for you every single day that we're in Washington because Joe and I are committed to leading a government that is accountable not just to the wealthy. Promises to one another, quite frankly, promises to the world. Folks, this is more than an ordinary train ride. This is a new beginning. Those are the values that the American people hold in common. The 
shared by Irish Catholics from Wilmington and African Americans from the south side of Chicago, by Hispanics and Asians and Native Americans all across this great land. They formed a foundation for our success, and they lift us up when we face the first. Those are the values that Joe carried with him in the Senate. You sent him there when he was just 30. Yes. That's when tragedy struck. Mm. Suddenly this man who had a limitless future before him had lost more than most of us could imagine. That's when Joe Biden got back up on his feet. Mm. He didn't move away from Delaware. Instead, day after day, month after month, year after year, he came here to this station and boarded the train to our nation's capital. Yeah, night after night, month after month, year after year, he rode that train back home in the evening to raise his boys and a beautiful family alongside his beautiful wife, Jill. Yeah. He, would be, he would be the first to tell you that he didn't do it alone. He had the people of this city and this state with him every step of the way. Now, Delaware, I'm asking Joe Biden to take one more ride to Washington. Yeah. A nation at war, an economy in turmoil, an American dream that feels like it's slipping away. Together we know that the American people are facing adversity, and that the time has come to pick ourselves up once again. That's right. We've heard, we've heard your stories on the campaign trail. We have been touched by your dreams, and we will fight for you. Every single day that we're in Washington, that is accountable, not just to the wealthy or to the well connected, but to you. To the conductors who make our trains run. And to the workers who lay down the rails. To the parents who worry about how they're going to pay the bills next month on the commute to work. And to the children who hear the whistle of the train and dream of a better life. That's who we're fighting for. All right. That's who needs change. Mm. And those are the stories that we will carry with us to Washington. We are now witnessing the very train that Barack is going to take all the way to Houston. Not just Barack, but Joe Biden as well. I'm telling you, this is some good stuff. This is some very good stuff. Look at all these people. They're all over the place. This is just Delaware. Stop one.